let's talk a little bit about the strategies. And you and your colleagues had a great piece recently about the Trump campaign strategy to improve his standing among black voters. Can you talk about what they're doing and how is this being received right now? Yeah, so this got a lot of attention because a few weeks ago, Trump was speaking to an event that was called the Black Conservatives Gala in South Carolina. And what he said there was basically that uh, that black voters liked him because he had a mugshot. Uh, because he had a he he has a, a brush with the criminal justice system now, um, and he, he his words were that uh, because of how he feels like he's being persecuted by the uh, legal system, that that was something that a lot of Black Americans could relate to. Now, to be clear, that line went over really well in that room among Black Trump supporters. A lot of people outside of that room found that very offensive for playing on stereotypes. Uh, but but we, we did a story uh, and did some reporting that really looked beyond just uh, the way that, that Trump articulated that. But the campaign is really making a, a more extensive and sophisticated pitch to black voters because there is actually a lot of polling to suggest that Trump has improved among previous Republican nominees, specifically with black men. And that in a few of the states that are going to decide this election, specifically Georgia, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania, um, where there are large black populations in the cities, the Democrats really, really need those votes. And the the Trump campaign thinks, you know, they're under no illusion that they're going to win a majority of, of black voters or black men. But if they can improve just a little bit, just a few points, either by... Uh, having those voters stay home and not turn out for Joe Biden, or even by persuading them to vote for Donald Trump, that could actually be decisive in a very close election. 